Hello and welcome to another Tech Stuff Tuesday brought to you by EMF Audio. This week we're going to cover what amplifiers actually do. So an amplifier is called an amplifier because it amplifies a signal. And this right here is a DMM that we have connected to RCAs. So this is going to show us our uh, signal output voltage from the head unit. So when we go up on volume you can see that that number gradually increases. So that is 2.88 volts that we're maxed out on and when we go down on voltage it comes back down. Now we've taken our DMM leads and we're connected directly to the sub on the coil. So since this is amplifying we're going to take that signal that we had coming in that was less than 2 volts depending on the amount of volume that we turned up and down. Connect it directly and we are going to see this go up. So there's 8.9 volts, 11 volts, 14 volts, 17 volts. And we're just going up on the volume. So we control the amount of voltage until it gets louder as it's making more power as we go up and down on the volume. So that's all it's doing is it's taking the input signal that is coming from the head unit that is a much much lower voltage it is boosting that voltage and that's what's going over to the sub. So now if we're going to play music on that because it's different tones and at different volume levels within the track it's going to give us different voltage readings as you'll see here when we start playing music. So it starts low we go up in volume that gets higher And you can see the change in voltage depending on what frequency is being played and as the music changes dynamically in uh, frequency and volume. So, it is for this reason that you can't just set a gain to a certain voltage and expect to not ever have a problem. Because everything is dynamic within a given musical track and everything uh, is going to change frequently. So if you have a different track that has a different volume on it, you can end up clipping it. So using a tool that is only set by voltage is not going to be accurate. You can still damage things. Uh, the best way to know if you're clipping anything is going to be just by listening to it. If you like this video and all of our other videos from Tech Stuff Tuesday, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notifications every Tuesday when we upload these new videos. Don't forget to browse the channel as well. Check out our latest videos, our other videos that we've done before with other product testing. And don't forget, you can shop 24-7 on emfcaraudio.com.